all developments for us. Benedict Pavio, Benedict, good evening to you. Breaking news, of course. What is your sense of the possible impact this could have? Well, Boris Johnson, the UK Prime Minister, is clearly uh, in deep trouble. Is he about to be uh, forced out of office? That is not yet clear. But we first got the Health Secretary, Sajid Javid's resignation, saying he could not continue in the role in good conscience uh, and telling his now former boss, Boris Johnson, uh, you have therefore lost my confidence too. And then we suddenly had the resignation of uh, Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor, the Minister of Finances, um, saying the public rightly expects government to be conducted properly, competently and seriously. I recognise this may be my last ministerial job, but I believe these standards are worth fighting for, and that is why I am resigning. So we're now watching uh, to see who else resigns. We know the Deputy Prime Minister, Dominic Raab, uh, well, there are certain consistent reports saying that he is staying uh, some other ministers uh, too. But let's remember that the two by-election defeats that were um, basically won seats by the Liberal Democrats overturning a huge previously conservative majority um, and then another a Labour seat, suddenly there was a resignation just over a week ago of the party chairman, Oliver Dowden. Uh, we're told this is not a coordinated resignation, uh, so we're now watching for more resignations. But what these two letters of resignation from Rishi Sunak and Sajid Javid clearly indicate that they do not believe that the leadership of Boris Johnson, the current UK Prime Minister, is consistent with truth, with accountability. And there have just been too many scandals. Um, Partygate, uh, now this latest one, over sexual groping allegations of a uh, a chief, um, a deputy whip of the Tory party. So very serious trouble tonight. We'll see what the coming hours bring. Breaking news, as we say, Benedict, any word yet from Downing Street? No, but what we know consistently and we need to underline is that Boris Johnson, for the vote of confidence over a month ago now, with a very big rebellion against him, very warning signals then, has consistently said when faced with the first being the first prime minister who got a, a penalty charge uh, over Partygate and uh, all those problems, he has consistently said, I'm not going anywhere. The problem for him is that after those two by-election defeats, very serious ones. He's been in Rwanda at a summit of the Commonwealth. Uh, he then went straight on to a G7 summit, and he then went to a NATO summit. He seems much more comfortable uh, abroad as an international statesman representing the UK. But domestically, this has been brewing for a long time. And MPs, even loyal ones, unofficially, are now saying that he must be gone by July the 22nd. What happens on July the 22nd? Well, Parliament will go in recess. Benedict Pavio for now. Thank you very much indeed. Benedict Pavio there with the latest on this.